I'm very curious to hear your thoughts on the matrix. Yeah, and you mentioned the soap. We mentioned the vegetable it, oils. We also, mentioned the endocrine disruptors and stuff. It, yeah. It's also funny. Tate and I actually chatted a, a lot a couple years ago. Okay. We were following each other on Instagram. We, we kind of exchanged. We were kind of shooting the shit. It's super crazy because the kind of the space we're in on Twitter, they call it like money Twitter or whatever, business Twitter. He was one of like the big people in that like three, four years ago. And then he kind of blew up out of nowhere. So the people in our space kind of saw him come out of nowhere. And it's, cu- it's cool that you also knew who he was as well before this big kind of like blow up. Um, yeah, I, I actually like I had a guy, a friend I knew and he was like, yo, yo check out this guy Tate. This is a couple of years ago. I go on his channel and he's got this YouTube video talking about like body language, how like basically the Russians, special forces or whatever, they they used they were very stoic and they talk and they wouldn't move, which was a problem because if, if you're going to freaking attack someone, they see it coming. So yeah. they learn to use their and hands and talk. Yeah. And I'm like, this dude is like talking about like any moment, regular life, being ready for combat. I was like, that's freaking gangster. I like that. <laughs> and so, I, and the way, way he talked, I was like, this is like, he's, he's saying some freaking smart stuff. So I kind of, I saw him very early before he became extremely controversial. Um, and, uh, and we chatted, we were supposed to kind of hang out and, and stuff like that it didn't happen. And also like Canada was in lockdown for a while, but but uh, yeah, yeah, I got a, I got a so, good, so, yeah. On that note, that's super cool. I, I think that's super cool, kind of like worlds colliding, right? But what are your thoughts on the quote, the, the matrix and, and these endocrine disruptors and, and the corporate system and whatnot? Do you believe there's like conspiracy there, et cetera? Or like, what are your thoughts? Well, I mean, I, I think that like the world we live in now is very different than, you know, our parents' generation, for example. I mean, even, even going back 50 years, a man you know, or a single person could work and buy a home, get two cars, have three kids, support a family. It's not like you can't do that today. Yeah. Like maybe some places you can, but if you're in the big city, you're in Toronto, LA, Miami, it's like, it's not a reality. Even people with pretty good jobs can barely like the idea of having three kids is like, you know, both people have to work now and everyone's stressed and no one has like, yes, there are people that are making, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars a month, millions of dollars a month, but that's such a tiny, tiny minority. Right. And, and the traditional gender roles are kind of ruined because of that. Um, Would you say? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you mean? Like, like both the female and the male working rather right. than the man going to work and, and making the money for the Yeah, I mean, like, it. you know, when I, when I, uh, if, when I like kind of, uh, partner or like you know find a partner and stuff like that like i like she's not going to be working there's no reason for that yeah you know i will handle like i will you know work on the money like i my father my mom stayed at home um and he kind of and it was a per like it you know if my mom would have been working would have no benefit like it's you need like yeah so i uh but yeah now i don't think that most people can't do it like you like a guy that's making one hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year in toronto Still needs more money coming in if he's gonna have kids. Yeah, yeah. Rent what four four k month, three k month, whatever. Yeah. If they're renting, yeah. And then taxes like one hundred fifty k a year is not one hundred fifty k a year. And then yeah, yeah. It, what was it eighty five thousand dollars? And that which is like nothing. You know, seven thousand a month. And then nothing in know. a big city. Sorry, it's nothing in a big city. It's nothing. Yeah. So, the lockdowns in Canada. Yes. What are your thoughts on that? I think I remember seeing a video of you. You're at like Bradley Martin's gym or something. Yeah. You guys like talked about it. I don't think there's any, is anyone dumb enough that they're like, yeah, that was great. No <laughs> one thinks it's good. You know, maybe in the moment they thought it was good. Retrospectively, you have to have extremely low IQ to be like, this was the, the this, that was the right decision. No one thinks it's good. The, the, the challenge that I found was that like we tested it, right? We tested it for a few months. We tested it for a year, and our own government kept going back, knowing it was complete dog shit. And it wasn't like, we don't things don't exist in a vacuum, right? So you can't be like, okay, you know what? You know, potentially we got to get locked down to try and control things and all this. There is a cas- cascading negative effects happen: um, mental health issues, overdoses, depression. Like there, you know. Violence in homes, the amount of negatives that happened were far worse than any potential benefit. The strain on the economy, businesses shut down. Money is required to support life. When, when, and then the government has to produce, uh, print tons and tons of money, the value of the money goes down. There's so many things that, that happen. The idea the government can tell you, you do not have the right to, to run your business. Now you got to pay these expenses. You got to pay for rent. You got to watch your freaking life savings go to zero. It is complete and absolute garbage. No one, like with 
that's worth a grain of salt would tell you otherwise. You just can't. You can't look at the research and be like, yeah, this made a lot of sense. This was completely worth it. You have to be really, really stupid. 